you're accused of fabricating almost every single part of your life. Why did you? Why did you deserve to represent the people? Stay the way. Did you Pardon illegally? Oh, sorry, Mr. Santos. You there's some campaign, campaign finance, finance concerns and questions about your finances. Really? Can, can you answer? Can you guys give me a little space, please? Personal space, please. A little personal space. Why don't you answer our questions, Congressman? Congressman, you seem to be dodging questions about your finances and about your background. Congressman, what about those new accusations? Congressman, did you misuse campaign finances? Why don't you answer our questions? Please the media soon. Wait, what is you? On my time. You're representing the people of New York. As you just saw, George Santos is still refusing to answer any questions from reporters, and he is planning to address it on his own time. But as the reporter pointed out there, this is a public servant. Keyword, servant. You represent your constituents, and they deserve answers after you literally deceive them about every single aspect of your life to get elected. So it's not a matter of, well, you know, I'll address it when I'm good, well, and ready. No, you work for them, not the other way around. But these politicians, they think that they can do whatever they want, that they are above the law, above accountability. And the reason why they think that is because effectively they are, they can do what they want and they're never held accountable. He didn't resign. He was sworn into Congress. He's now officially a member of Congress. And as you see there, he is uh, just casually throwing up the uh, white power sign. I'm sure it's nothing more than a coincidence. You know, if you're like raising your hand, of course, you're, you're going to do some weird gesture with your fingers. It's totally natural. I'm sure it's a coincidence. I'm being facetious for those who can't detect it. But this is an individual who should not be a member of Congress. He should resign. And even other Republicans should force him to resign because if you care about the overall perception of your party, not that they do because they're all crazy, but if you do at least a little bit, you think that somebody lying to get elected to Congress and lying about every single aspect of their lives might make all of you look bad. But no, they're kind of getting buddy-buddy with George Santos as Marjorie Taylor Greene is. But I don't necessarily care too much about what the rank-and-file Republicans are doing. The real question is, what is leadership doing to hold this individual accountable, this compulsive lie? Well, Steve Scalise was asked about this, and he basically brushed aside the reporter's concerns here. Let's watch. Given all that we know now about what Congressman Santos lied about his resume, the various inquiries into him at the federal and local level, do you think that he should be a member of Congress? Well, you saw him seated last week. There were no challenges to that. This is something that's being handled internally. Obviously, there were concerns about uh, what we had heard. And so we're going to have to sit down and talk to him about it. And that's something that we're going to deal with, uh, just like there's a lot of other things we're going to deal with. We're going to deal with it. OK, how are you going to deal with it? Because it seems like you're not going to do anything. This man lied about every single aspect of his life, his race, his heritage, his career, his education, his own mother's death, perhaps his sexual orientation. He lied about everything. He created a fictional character and ran for Congress on that fictional character, and you're just fine with this? You're not worried about how this makes the Republican Party look, if he's a PR nightmare for the Republican Party? No. And I'll tell you how he's going to handle it. By not just doing nothing, which is what I expected, but by rewarding George Santos by making sure that the Ethics Committee can't do what they need to do to investigate him. Insider reports, the House of Representatives Monday passed a new set of rules to govern the chamber that will severely weaken the ability of the Office of Congressional Ethics to investigate members of Congress over suspicion of wrongdoing. Quote, I think it's fantastic, Republican Representative George Santos of New York said of the rules package, of course, which they passed by a 220 to 213 margin in a brief interview with the Insider Monday at the Capitol. The changes came just days after Santos, who was reported by multiple news outlets to have lied about much of his background is under investigation in multiple countries and faces at least two Office of Congressional Ethics complaints related to his financial disclosures was sworn into Congress. The proposed rules package severely curtails the ability of OCE to do the job it exists to do, a constellation of good government groups wrote in a letter published January 4th. So that's how the GOP leadership is dealing with this issue. They're gutting the Office of Congressional Ethics so that way it can properly investigate individuals like George Santos. And of course he thinks it's fantastic. I think it's evident to most reasonable people 
that this is a member of Congress who should not be there. He should be forced to resign, but there's no pressure at all on GOP leadership. So he's going to be there. And I can't say that I'm surprised. I can't say that I expect accountability at all, but I will say that he'll fit right in with the Republican thugs and clowns who continue to make a mockery of our entire political system, which is already a joke to begin with. Like our entire government is one big clown show, but Republicans, they really put the cherry on top of the shit Sunday with their ongoing extremism and unhinged behavior. So I'm not going to pretend like I'm surprised that nothing will be done about George Santos lying to his constituents because politicians lie. I mean, he just took lies to the next level, but either way, nothing's going to be done. I expect him to serve his full term and maybe even get reelected because this is the United States of America. And we reward politicians when they should be punished. We reward bad behavior. And there's this thing called failing up that has proven to be a real phenomenon time and time again. So, you know, I don't think anything's going to get done. If it does, I'll be shocked. But either way, George Santos is a member of Congress and he's just walking around as if he didn't just deceive everyone, still refusing to talk to reporters. I mean, what an entitled imbecile. But again, I can't say I'm surprised. This is par for the course with the party of extremism and clowns and idiots. He'll fit right in, honestly.